so I have another project share for all of you and this one I was trying to do a start to finish album but my camera battery that got off and then I was like okay what the heck let's not do the tutorial recording let's do a project share so this is a mini album which I created as an order uh, for my client in India and uh, I've used tons of things on this album which I'm going to brief one by one I hope you all are going to like my album so let's get started so this is the cover page as you can see let me zoom in a little yeah so as you can see that this is the cover page perfect so this is the cover page and what I have done is that I have used a lot of texture paste on the background and then I've taken some wild orchid craft flowers I have like tons of wild orchid craft flowers so I took the entire brown shade like I have organized them according to the shades so all my brown is together and then these two clock pieces are from uh, clock hands are from Sa crafters this is the Prima uh, road signs I think and this beautiful butterfly is from Renee's boutique she has a beautiful collection you should go out go you should go and check her out and then on the side I've added some Mayotte trim and some old ruffles and here also there's this beautiful Mayotte trim which I have added in the center and this one is adhesive so as I can see that it's not straight so I'm just going to go and make me go ahead and make it straight and this plate is from Prima uh, sorry from Tim Holtz and it has romance written inside because it is a love album uh, girlfriend is giving it to her boyfriend so this is how the cover looks and this is how it looks on the side I hope you all can see what I have done on the back I have used cartographer paper line yeah so the entire paper line which has been used in this album is cartographer and time travelers more of time travelers and less of cartographer they both are prima paper lines on the side I had I took this ribbon and I added it um, and tied a bow to enclose my entire book and now I'm just going to go ahead and open it I'm thinking to add a chunky charm but uh, I am a little skeptical because I don't want to overdo it so I would uh, uh, well I welcome your suggestions please do let me know if I want if I should add a chunky charm on the side or not so now let me just go ahead and show you all the pages inside so this is the first page which I did and okay I have no idea from there where this thing came off yeah it came off from here so I'm just going to go ahead and use my glue gun so my glue gun is not working right now so I'll just go ahead and stick it later so yeah so this is the first page so onto here as you can see let me just zoom in more yeah as you can see that I have used Prima doilies on the background and here I have used some beautiful flowers and these are petaloo collections and they're synchronized with the wild orchid craft flowers and uh, some clock hands by Sa crafters she's amazing and then there's this amazing tag at the background which I've used made uh, which I've made using stenciling and added a magnolia tag to it and it's a dohiki dye it's a beautiful dye and this flower was here which has come off so I'll just go ahead and do redo it so this is how the first page looks and here are f more mats for writing and for pictures so I've used I've included lots of different different sizes of photo mats and writing mats like my client she can write and paste pictures accordingly so this is the first page and as you can see that I've done a lot of stenciling on the background and for this I've used my Faber Castle whipped spackle I think it's better than modeling paste because it dries off soon and it gives a nice texture and yeah before I go further I would like to thank Neen Neen is JJ Shah's uh, 14 or I think it's just JJ Shah's on YouTube her channel is wonderful and I'm really inspired by her work so my mini albums are definitely inspired by her so thank you so much Neen for your beautiful inspiration which you have been sharing with all of us so now let me just go ahead and show you the second page so in this page as you can see that I have uh, used a pennant die it's a Marian pennant die I made this pennant it was love written over here I don't know where my O went so 
maybe I'll just take off LO because I don't I don't think I have another O so I'll just go ahead and take these off because it's going, not going to look good and then there are some more tags on the back this is the first tag and some more photo mats and all my pages they have this uh, tag slide out coming from behind where she can write or paste in more pictures so all the pages they have an they have a hidden envelope enclosed with it so this is the second page and now on to the third page so this is my third page and here you can see that I can just open this and I can paste pictures here and do pictures over here also or maybe write something I like doing stenciling so I have done a bit of stenciling on the background and here I've used some beautiful Prima flowers, Prima tags and some recollection flowers, some wild locket craft flowers and this tag amazing again by Prima uh, and then this chipboard piece is from I think Time Traveler's collection uh, from Prima itself and this is my third page and on the background I've used a Tim Holtz die and here I've used a chalkboard hat so a person can write anything with chalk so isn't that interesting so and behind it there are again some more tags because I want my client to put as many pictures as she wants uh, in this album I don't want her to think that she has less place, spaces for pictures so I've tried my best to give her as many photo mats as possible and then here's the third page and as you can see they all have this hidden pocket which has a tag coming out and on the f sorry this is I think the fourth page and now comes the fifth page so as you can see on the fifth page I have done variety of things I've added this beautiful cameo let me zoom in a little yeah so this beautiful cameo is there and then this this beautiful tag which I have made using again wild locket craft flowers and then there are a lot of more tags uh, many 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 more tags here see so she can put anything as she wants so let me just take this thing oh, I don't want it to hide so yeah this is how my uh, fifth page looks now my sixth page again it has one big photo mat for a big picture and there are some square photo mats some different different sizes of photo mats so she can stick pictures and write things on it and I'm also going to give her some date tabs so that she can stamp her dates so this is my sixth page now my next page is this page and this is a beautiful resin frame by Recollections I think it was vintage romance or something like that it was a beautiful collection in Michaels and then when you open it you have these beautiful photo mats 4x6 photo mats and there are about 4 pictures which you can stick here and it's pretty heavy like it's really heavy and then on this page I have some blue strands there yeah I have some more tags so there's a small pocket here uh, let me zoom yeah so there's a small pocket here so there's a small pocket here and there are these beautiful tags which are inside and what she can do is that she can write over here a hidden message and then just add these tags on top of it paste pictures and go all crazy that's her like I've given her a lot of options so she can do whatever she wants to do with it and there's this beautiful butterfly and here it says hello and on the back there's a envelope hidden envelope with a tag inside so this is how my book looks I hope you all have enjoyed this video and I hope I've inspired you to make your one I have a tutorial on making such kind of albums on my channel so for that you have to uh, just click on the link below which is just going to hover on the screen or I'm just going to put the link also in the description box so that you don't you you can get to the tutorial uh, with ease so I seriously hope you all have enjoyed this project and uh, thank you so much again everyone for visiting my channel and I'm going to be reaching 2000 subscribers very soon so I still can't believe that 
like in such short period of time i have reached to 2000 subscribers and this year i don't know like i haven't planned much but yeah i've started with my college so there's a good possibility that i'll get less time to craft but i'm not taking any customized orders from india so that means i have time to craft for myself and make more videos so i'll try my best to give one tutorial every week i know i make promises but I'm not able to do it and also I have a huge giveaway planned up so I'll be posting the picture